Hi, my name is Jay Farood, and I'm a captain for Mizzou Ultimate Frisbee. Uh, we have our biggest tournament this weekend. It's called Regionals. Um, it's essentially all the teams within our region, the South Central region, um, ranging from you know Texas up until um, the northern borders of, of Missouri. Um, and it's essentially just the best 16 teams in our region. That's one thing I noticed is when UMass tried to poach, they just they cut through it. When UMass played hard defense, they kind of gave up a little bit. Now we're going to go into our, probably our biggest game, or our biggest... We are seated sixth uh, right now. Um, I think it's kind of up in the air. That's based off of preliminary seedings from conference, which we had two weeks ago. Um, but I, I believe we have a chance to, to take it all the way, honestly, to go to go number one undefeated um, through the weekend. There are a couple powerhouses uh, in our region, um, namely uh, Colorado, Texas, and Texas A&M. They've been uh, perennial powerhouses for uh, a couple years now. Um, Unfortunately, we haven't been able to secure our own bid into nationals or into regionals, or uh, you know, to to compete for nationals. So we have to go out there and do what we can to uh, to steal one of those bids from one of those top teams. Uh, you know, we're gonna try to work out all of the kinks that we can uh, before our, our biggest tournament, uh, like we said earlier. So. I'm hoping to, to work out all of those ripples and uh, smooth everything over before the weekend. The biggest goal would obviously be to make nationals. Um, we've never done that as a program for Mizzou, so I'm hoping that uh, we can break through the that nationals berth. Um, but it's going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of uh, um, you know smooth playing, and uh, I'm hoping we can get you know on to the next level. I'm uh, Mitch Kolzak. I am one of the three captains for the team. I would say ultimate is kind of a sport that has a couple of elements from like football and uh, basketball. Um, it's uh, you, you play in a, a pitch roughly the size, a little bit smaller than a football field. Um, you score by catching it in the end zone, and once you catch it, you cannot run. Um, and it's all played with a frisbee or a disc. Uh, this year is kind of our one of our peak years. We, we have a lot of seniors uh, graduating this year. We have a lot of fifth years, so um, it's probably the most experience Mizzou's had uh, since maybe my freshman year. So it's really a year that we're all trying to push, to, uh, to push and do something special. It's tough to say now. I would really like to um, beat one of the big three teams in our region and hopefully go to nationals. The big teams are Texas, Texas A&M, and, uh, Texas, Texas and, uh, and uh, Colorado. Every year I've been to regionals, we've been eliminated by Texas A&M. I'd like to end that streak. Playing a lot, you know, it's going to be exhausting. Okay, um, so get your stuff figured out now. Uh, and, you know, talk to your teachers if you need to. Um, all that stuff. Okay. Do we have the address for the hotels yet? Not yet. Eric's working on that right after practice. Um, so, uh, <laughs> Uh, Rennie McKay, and uh, I'm an alum, graduated from the journalism school in 2001, and played ultimate frisbee here from 98 to 2001. This is where I played when I lived here 15 years ago, and so it's just <laughs> taking a walk down memory lane, and then all of a sudden the practice started, so I uh, tried to join in. <laughs> I called the alum card. It's awesome to see what the uh, the ultimate community here at Mizzou is doing. You know, when, when I was here 15 years ago, we barely had a team. And now to see that there's an A and a B team and see how strong the players are out here um, and going to regionals. And uh, hopefully they'll go to nationals. I think that's pretty amazing. Right, any questions see. before we get out here? No, no, I, don't I, don't, I don't get that. You don't have offset. Joke is harder with Mike, guys. Hey, Mizzou on two, Mizzou on two. Loud and proud, Mizzou on two. One, two, no! Let's go, guys. We can't just be so lax at day school on the sideline. You know, we've got to pick each other up. We've got to talk to our teammates, and we've got to keep on moving up and down the field. All right? We have to be there for everybody. Everybody's got to be there for everybody. All right? That's the only way that this day is going to keep on going. Okay? When we're down, keep on fucking pushing. All right? Look what we just did there. We were down 7-8 or 7-9, got broken out of half, came back, brought it back up, and we ended up finishing the game out. Okay? We've got to come out strong against Dana. Okay, we have a bye right now. We do have a bye. I just talked to the TD and a and It is confirmed we have a bye. Our next game is at 2 o'clock. Um, I do not know what time it is now. Pie check. It's almost 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. Great. Um, so we will be doing a 45-minute warm-up. We are back here at 1.15 if you need to go get food. The weekend did not go as planned for the Mutants. They went 2-2 two and two with losses to Texas A&M and Arkansas. They were eliminated from the tournament early Sunday morning, meaning they had no chance of making it to nationals. Now the captains and other seniors are saying goodbye to the younger players as their ultimate career at Mizzou is over. Don't worry, I'll still get you guys something.